All right, hello, grade eights, and welcome to lesson 9.4, Fractions of Fractions. Um, I would like you to follow along in the textbook because I will be using this example here from the textbook. So I'd like you to follow along on the uh, fraction strips, and I will take these examples. I've taken uh, these strips and uh, kind of copy them and paste them into another slide but I need you to look at the strip itself in its entirety to get a better idea what I'm taking, um, talking about. Uh, so again, 9.4 fractions of fractions found on page 296. So follow on 296. And the goal is to represent one fraction as part of another fraction. And by the end of this, it will make sense, I promise you. Okay, here is the main example. I'd like you to follow along from this example. Um, and take a look at the fraction strips as I go along. Uh, question is, T was playing a fraction game with his friends. The game board is a fraction strip tower. Each player picks a card and covers sections of fraction strips. And here are the cards, A, B, C, and D, and they're fractions of fractions, all right? So take a look at the fraction strips. Notice how they're all equivalent. Some are equivalent to one another. You'll notice that one fourth and one fourth is equivalent to a half. If you put one and fourth and one fourth together, that's two fourths, one half are equivalent. Okay? We'll go, we'll go through this as we go. All right, so <clears throat> A. Suppose that T.O. picks card A. Which fraction strips can can he cover? Uh, how does the fraction sh uh, tower show that this is the right fraction strip? Now, card A is one third of one half. Here's one half. Now, if you look at the fraction strip tower, you notice that three sixths are equivalent to one half. So one sixth, one sixth, and one sixth makes three sixths, and that's equivalent to one half. Now it says one third of one half. So one third would it be, so if I take this, okay, hold on, take this, all right, gone, there, gone, what are you left with? One sixth. So one third of one half is one sixth. Notice how that works, okay? And again, follow on the, straption, on the fraction strip and you'll notice that this is working. All right, I'm gonna go through a couple of examples here all of these cards actually. I'm going to show you what this actually all means when we do a calculation. All right, next one. Um, I'm going to go. <clears throat> I'm going to be going fast, so um, do follow along and pause when you need to, and um, go back and uh, review if you need to as well. All right, card B. Suppose that Tio picks card B. How do you know that the section he covers has to be shorter than than the one third section? Here's one third. Now the card is one quarter or one fourth of one third. So if you look at your fraction strips, you'll notice that four twelfths are equivalent to one third on the fraction. Now one third will be up near the top and one twelfth will be pretty much near the bottom. Okay, so we're trying to cover one quarter of one third. So take, gone, gone, and gone. So one quarter of one-third is one-twelfth. Okay? It's funny how that works. <clears throat> Again, do take notes on this um, and just write the equation one-quarter of one-third is right like this. I my pen right here. Alright, so one-quarter of one-third equals one-twelfth. Okay? Lovely. Well done. Great. Good. Pause if you need to. Get this down. You don't have to copy that down. It's in your book. Okay? But you have the video to go back and reference if you need to. <clears throat> Alright, a couple more examples here. Alright, suppose that Teal picks card C. Okay? Why can he cover sections in the same strip as the three fifth section? We'll go through that question specifically in class, but what we want to say here is two thirds of three fifths. So here's three fifths. One, two, three fifths. The equivalent fraction strip is one, two, three, four, five, six 
tenths. Okay, so three fifths equals six tenths. Divide this by two, and what do you got? Okay, you got three fifths. So that's why can he cover the sections in the same strip as the three fifths section because these are equivalent. Okay, these are good. These are good friends right here. Okay, so cover two thirds of three fifths. So two thirds, two thirds of three fifths are one, two, three. Four, right here. Okay, two thirds, four fifths. So two thirds of three fifths. Okay, there's two thirds right here. Is covered by one, two, three, four tenths. Or an equivalent will be two fifths. Okay, in lowest terms, take us to two fifths. Lovely, good, well done, well done. All right, cutting near the end here. Suppose that TO picks card D, cover three quarters of one half. Which fraction strip can he use? How many of the sections in the strip can he cover? So, three quarters of one half. Here's one half. Equivalent is four eighths. Okay, so we've established this already. That's how fraction strips work. One half, four eighths. Those are equivalent. Those are equivalent fractions. Okay, four eighths is equal to one half. That's a half. That's a half. This is in lowest terms, but we're asked to cover three quarters of one half. So three quarters. If we were to take one away boom there you have it so three quarters of one half get back to my pencil three quarters of one half equals three eighths all right that's what we're looking for here all right now what does this all mean we got something like this here Okay, use fraction strips to show one half of one third. What am I trying to do? Am I going to be busting out fraction strips all the time? Am I going to be busting out my fraction strip app? Okay, on my phone? No, I'm going to be busting out my calculator actually. But in all in, you know, in all sincerity here, what are we looking at here? One half of one third can also be written like this: one half times one third. Now one half of one third equals one sixth. Okay? One half. Here's one third. Here's half of that, which is one sixth. Now remember we were doing decimals. Multiply decimal, the number gets smaller. Same with fractions. Same with fractions. So we're multiplying one half times one third. Okay? One times one is the one. Two times three is six. So instead of saying of we say multiply. All right, people. Well done. Good. There's a lot here. So take down these notes. Take down each example. Go back and pause and take down the notes. All right. And I'll be checking in class and we'll be going through some examples in class as well. Not too, too difficult. And again, if you're going to rewatch it, follow along with the fraction strips in the textbook. And here is what it looks like. Okay. Very good. Wonderful. Thank you for watching. See you in a bit.